What's up guys, I'm Lee Morris with fstoppers.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to mount a quick release plate on your favorite gimbal and today I'm going to be using the brand new GH5. Now what I'm going to be talking about today probably could be done with any gimbal but if you haven't seen our gimbal overview and comparison and review you can check that out here or go to the links in the bottom of this post to check that out. This is the, I know I'm going to say it wrong, Z Yun Crane or something. Somebody told me in the comments how wrong I was. It was like, I'm not even close to pronouncing it right. Just look for a crane or gimbal crane or something. It will come right up. But basically, this is our favorite gimbal. It's very reasonably priced, right around 600 bucks, I think. And uh, the only issue that I have with this gimbal is that if I have to take the camera off to switch the battery, it takes me just a few seconds to get it balanced again. But I think I've come up with a very simple answer here, and I've added a quick release plate here by Manfrotto. You can see I've got the plate on the bottom of the camera, and if I just slide that into place, this thing is automatically balanced every single time, and I never have to worry about doing it again. Uh, so that makes things much, much easier to deal with. Now, I've decided to use this plate system because I use it with every single one of my tripods as well. I can make this plate work with my pan heads and with my pistol grip ball heads when I'm shooting still photography. So I love the fact that I have one system that works for everything right now. I never have to worry about taking the plates off the bottom of the cameras. This plate is called the Manfrotto 200PL and this receiver is called the 323RC2. You can pick this up with its own plate for about 35 bucks on B&H, you can check out a direct link in the description below this video. Now, this is not the most perfect option for this crane because with the position that it needs to be balanced in, it doesn't sit totally flush. If I had the tools to actually cut the bottom of this crane a little bit, I could get this thing to sit perfectly flat. But the way it is right now with this little quick release pin in the back and the safety knob, it's causing this thing to sit sideways just a little bit. And I can screw this thing down very, very easily, very, very tightly, and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm not worried about that, but it's not horizontal anymore. It's like one or two degrees off. Luckily for us, this crane allows us to connect to it with an iPhone app. I can go in there and manually tell it to just move by one or two degrees, it will permanently stay there, and I've never had to worry about this issue since the first day that I put this on. Now, if you don't use the Manfrotto plate system like we do, don't worry about that at all. You can go to B&H right now and type in the model number of the plate that you prefer to use, and I can almost guarantee you that there will be a receiver just like this that will mount flat onto this gimbal system so that you can have a quick release system as well. So hopefully this has made your life a good bit easier. I know for me, this has made using a gimbal so much more convenient. Head over to fstoppers.com if you'd like more original content like this, and head over to fstoppers.com store to check out our full-length professional photography tutorials.